I have a hundred percent, a hundred percent confidence in the process because I've been doing this for 15 years and it's never not worked. And I say to my clients, if you are not a hundred percent delighted in what you get from this, I will not send you an invoice. And for 15 years, I've always been able to send an invoice. That was Marilyn Barefoot, the CEO and founder of Barefoot Brainstorming. Hi, I'm Tracy. And I'm Jessica, and this is She's on Top, the community where we celebrate women. Hanging out with Marilyn Barefoot at her home was so much fun. She is so down to earth that you could easily miss that brilliant mind behind the friendly, welcoming exterior. She combines a wickedly smart and analytical brain with an intuitive gut. She has worked at major advertising agencies like BBDO, Boswell, Palmer Bonner, and Vickers and & Benson. Eventually, Marilyn went out on her own to create Barefoot Brainstorming. Brainstorming is an interactive mythology she uses to help companies unearth new creative ideas and solve problems. Her techniques are so effective that she is sought after by large corporations around the world like Nike, Burger King, and Coca-Cola. We were thrilled when Marilyn reached out to us to become an ambassador for She's on Top, and we wanted to take the opportunity to sit down with her and learn the secrets behind her method. So once upon a time at the Creative Problem Solving Institute conference that I try to attend every couple of years, there was a, a session that was being done by one of the senior executives from, um, I wanted to say originally Muppet Labs, but it wasn't, it's the Jim Henson Studios. And they had us make a puppet. In, in our teams, we each got a, a brown, old school brown lunch bag. And in the middle of the table, there was glue and pom-poms and um, felt markers and, and glitter and whatever. And we had to make a puppet of ourselves when we were small. And then they said, with a post-it note, we want you to write on the post-it note what you would say to your five-year-old self. If you wanted to share it, you could. Otherwise, just put your post-it note inside your puppet and keep it there. I have carried that puppet and that post-it note around for 15 years. The puppet is me, and when you pull the post-it note from the inside of the puppet, it says, never let anyone tell you who you are. Brainstorming is reaching into everybody in the room and unlocking the creativity that's down there inside of absolutely everyone participating. People get creatively stuck because I think traditionally, maybe not anymore, but traditionally our school system taught us that at a certain age, eight, nine, 10 years of age, you're grown up. You're a big girl, big boy, big person now. And, and playing isn't what you should be doing anymore. If you give a cardboard box to a five-year-old child, it's a hundred things. If you give a box to a PhD student, it's one thing, it's a box. They could tell you the molecular makeup of the box, but they couldn't make it a spaceship or they don't think about making it a race car. Or they don't think about making it a fruit stand where they're selling fruit. Our traditional education system teaches it out of you. When you wander around Marilyn's house, the evidence of her creativity is everywhere, as well as her love of art, something it turns out she's carried through from her childhood. Crayons and coloring books were my life. So anything to do with art, paint, I had paint by numbers, but I hated paint by numbers because there were numbers. I just wanted to use the paint and do something else. So I used to paint in the wrong numbers, which was sort of like coloring outside of the lines, but that's the way I wanted to roll. Marilyn believes the key to unlocking everyone's creativity is to literally color outside the lines. That's why her brainstorming process involves a lot of hands-on play, and there is a very scientific reason behind this. The hands are a really interesting thing, and in some, uh, the hands related to the brain. If you sit in a meeting with a pen and a notepad, you can hold seven, exactly seven things in your frontal cortex at the same time. If you're playing or fidgeting or mucking with Play-Doh or Lego blocks or whatever, you are actually firing 80% of your brain power because the right hand is connected to the left brain and the left hand is connected to the right brain. So when two hands are working together, you're actually stimulating and they have 
brain scans that will show you this, you're stimulating 80% of your brain power. You're also sending yourself just in a different place. So for some people, when they open a little can of Play-Doh and they smell it, smell being one of the biggest memory factors that we have, they're transported back to that being five-year-old kid again. And then they just have fun with it. It's a bit of a transportation back to the childhood and letting go of the daily stresses, which then helps them get to interesting answers. I did a brainstorming session for Burger King in Miami and it was after lunch. And one of the exercises I love to do after lunch to get everybody walking, breathing, working off their lunch is they sent the teams out on a scavenger hunt. So the scavenger hunt involves go out as a team and bring back four of the craziest things you can find. So they all get excited. Not that there's a team competition, but they all feel like, oh, our team is going to win. We're going to bring back better things than that team over there. One team brought back a number of things, but one of the things they brought back was this almost seven foot tall, fully dressed in the full regalia doorman, live doorman from the hotel. So when you look at the doorman, what does it make you think of? So they write down all the various thoughts that the doorman makes them think of. How can you take these random thoughts and words that you've just come up with and focus them, converge your thinking on the task, increasing the breakfast day part sales at Burger King. What they ended up doing with it was looking at all the various thoughts and words on the doorman and saying, we need breakfast greeters. The king, if you will, was the greeter. And he or she would help with baby strollers, would walk the drive-through, would pass out dog treats to pets in the back of the cars in the drive-through. Anything to make the breakfast experience feel like you were basically being welcomed into a beautiful hotel or somebody's beautiful home. Worked like a charm. It's obvious that Marilyn is passionate about her process and the results speak for themselves. And the center of it all is once again a deep core belief. My core beliefs are you just stay the course to this person and the universe will deliver. It may take a very, very, very long time. Authenticity, love, and in the moment. That's, that's what I am and that's, that's what I believe makes a difference in the world. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and leave us your comments because we love your feedback. And we have a newsletter. There's a link below where you can sign up and there you'll find information about our community that we don't share here. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.